G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in today's video I'll be showing you how to use the server-side JavaScript get and set functions allowing you to send variables in between server-side JavaScripts and Anscript. So there are plenty of reasons why you may have to send variables in between server-side JavaScript and Anscript, mostly because you may have functions that are more natively written in Anscript you want to pass those variables into server-side JavaScript for some external API or other transformation codes before passing them back into AMScript. You can find these functions for ourselves by jumping onto the server-side JavaScript documentation page. Under server-side JavaScript, we'll find the use server-side JavaScript with AMScript. You can expand this and see a bit more information about how we can pass values between the two. You can see here we can use a pass variables between function, which gives us a link to the documentation page for the server-side JavaScript utility functions, the variable of get and set value. So the first thing we'll notice is that the get and set values do require the platform load core function. So once you have that built in, we can then use our variable get value and variable set value. These two functions allow us to send and get values between these two code languages. For example, the get value allows us to retrieve an AmScript value. As you can see here, the function of variable and get value getting the my AmScript variable. The set value, of course, does the reverse. It allows you to take a JavaScript variable and save it as a AmScript variable. You can see here we're going to set the variable in AmScript of at my variable to the value inside of service side JavaScript of my value. So let's jump into Marketing Cloud and try these out for ourselves. So inside email studio, I've built an email called my SSJS get and set variables. I've done some AM script to look up my data extension that I'm personalizing with and set two AM script variables, the ID and the F name for first name. I can done editing and jump and preview this email for myself and see what it looks like when it's personalized with my subscribers information. I can see here, one of the records in my sample rows data extension has the ID of sample rows and the first name of Astro. So we definitely have our AMP script working. Let's now jump back into our code and see what we can change to bring in some server-side JavaScript. What we can do next is we can make a break here in our code. Let's do some server-side JavaScript to transform the information before we pass it back into AMP script. So to start with, we'll need to declare our server-side JavaScript box. To do that, of course, we can use our script tag. So we can open up our script like that and close our script. Now, of course, this is not client-side JavaScript, it's server-side JavaScript. So we're going to run at server. With our run at server function complete, we can now put our code inside of this code block. Now, remember we were looking at those functions earlier as we traversed through our JavaScript information into our using variables, passing variables, and it did say we need to use the platform load core library. So let's get that function. Make sure that you load in our core library into our code set. So paste our core library load there. With our core library loaded, we can now jump back into our documentation. Let's get the value from JavaScript, from script and store it in JavaScript. So let's get the value. So we'll copy this code, go back into our email and let's paste it in. Now, what are we gonna save this variable as? Well, let's we'll call it var of ID will be equal to the getting of the ID script value. We'll do the same thing then for the F name, where we can get the F name value. Now these two things retrieved, we should be able to print them out. So with our platform core loaded, we can use the write function. So we can say write, let's try and write out the ID value, followed by a space, followed by the F name value, followed by a line break, just so we know that it's been completed before we start onto our next part of the code down here. Now, if this works, we should see the ID with a, let's put a pipe in like that, with a pipe in the first name, then a line break before the AMP script code kicks in. So let's see if this works. We'll go next to preview the email. And hopefully we have no errors and we get perfect. So there is our ID with a pipe and then our name. Exactly those two values coming through. So we've definitely transferred those AMP script variables into our server-side JavaScript. Right, off to a good start. Now, like I said earlier, there are a few reasons why you would want to transfer a variable from AMP script into server-side JavaScript. And that could be because the server-side JavaScript functions are better at handling certain types of operations, such as API calls and using JSON objects. In this example, these are very complex. But what I will do is some small transformation just to show you how it works. 
what we'll do is we're going to append some characters to the front of the ID and to the front of the first name. So we can do that by resetting these variables. We can say var and the altered ID is going to be equal to, and we'll do AAAA at the front of the ID variable. You then add in the ID like that. We'll do the same thing then for an alternative first name. So we've got an alt first name value. We're going to instead add some things to the end. So let's go where the first name, there it is there. And then we'll append some flat text to the end. Let's do BBBB. There we are. So now we've reset those values and let's try print them out with our altered ID and our altered first name. So let's save that. And we'll go next to preview it and make sure that next lava function has worked. It's always good to isolation test this to make sure we've got nothing wrong. And there we are. There is our appended letters to the front and appended letters to the end. Looking good. Well now, we still have these original AM script values printing below. What we want to try and do is transfer these variable uh, items from server-side JavaScript back into AM script. So back in our documentation, we can use the get value to get values. Let's now use the set value to set some values. So we'll go and get this function again. We'll copy it and go back onto our email. And now let's set some values. I'm going to set the AM script value of ID to be my altered ID, like that. And of course, there's no double quotation marks because we want to use the variable, not a string text. So we're going to set ID, which we then use down here, as our new altered ID. We'll do the same thing, but for our altered first name. So once again, we're going to rename this to be the M script value of F name. So where it is here, there it is. And so now we're going to print out those values. So in summary, we've got some M script values. We're going to load our service side JavaScript, load our core library in, use the get value function to get those two M script variables, which we've done, store them as service side JavaScript variables, alter them slightly, before then resetting them back into M script values again, making sure we use the names of those variables to declare the values to set them as. With that all done, we should be able to print it out in M script at the bottom. So let's see if it works. Perfect, we now have those altered values, the original data of course being this ID and this first name, our actual printed M script values after the alterations in server-side JavaScript, showing as A's at the front and B's at the back. And there you have a quick introduction of how to get and set M script values between M script and server-side JavaScript. Hope you enjoyed this quick intro. If you have, then please let me know in the comments below with a big thumbs up on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.